Hey everyone, welcome to The Grange here in Suffolk in England. Uh, my name's Tom Horton, I'm a professional organist and amongst my work playing and teaching, um, I also get to play these wonderful theatre pipe organs. So in this video, we're gonna talk about right hand chord fillings. And this is where we're gonna use the right hand to fill out the chord, um, add extra notes to our melody and make it sound really, really nice. So for our first example, we're gonna take the opening of a popular song called the world is waiting for the sunshine. Okay, so what was I doing there? Well, that's just the opening phrase, and I was using just simply the melody line in single notes. So watch that. So what you do is, first of all, we're going to use full chords to fill in. So I'm going to go D sharp and then we're going to go E, C, A, G. Now if you're playing with 16s you're going to want to move the melody up an octave and you can see what I'm doing is because we have a C chord we're filling in uh, from the melody note E so the remaining notes are C and G and I'm playing a C6 so I'm going to put this in. You can see this here on the screen in the music. So we started off by going then I'm going to up to G, and then we have a B7, so my melody notes in A, F sharp, D sharp, B, so big chords you see. And then here we're going to do a whole series of climbing C chords. And all that is, look, it's going through inversions. The melody is going... And so what we do is we start with a pair, look, C and E, E and G, G and A, and then A and C. And then we add the remaining chord notes in. And that creates a big sound from the melody. Here it is without. And here it is with. Okay, so a big sound there from that particular piece of music. So we've now got the chance to add in some what we call cascading notes. And cascading notes are where you basically um, hold the note and then add each one in turn, something like this. Okay, so da, da. And you see that in the music there, look. And so those are quite effective. If you're playing with 16s though, do make sure to move your melody up an octave. And again. So I could go. So that's quite effective and it's very nice to do that maybe on a on a final verse to make it sound bigger. Now let's have a look at chord fill-in pattern number one now. And so what we're doing here is this is brilliant if you've got a long melody note and you want to fill it in. And you hear this if you listen to any of the great bands of the old days, the singer would sing and then the band would go do 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 the saxophones, the trumpets, they'd fill in the long note. So I've written here a little tune, very simple, just to demonstrate this. And this is uh, chord filling number one. And what I want you to do is I want you to say the rhythm lyrics out loud. And this one works really well with long melody notes and you play the fill after the melody note. So let's have a listen to it. Here it is again. Okay, so what are we doing there? Well, we're using this rhythm that goes rest, ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. So I've written some lyrics underneath that help you play this actual rhythm. So it's rest, then fill in the chord. Rest, then fill in the chord. You can see the lyrics there. And so what are we actually filling in with though? Because what, what notes do we add to our melody? Well, we get these notes from the chord in the left hand. So if we're playing, <coughs> excuse me, a C chord, 
we would want to fill in some notes that are the ones that are from the C chord. So if I'm playing a C, we all know that a C chord is C, E, G. So if I'm already playing the C, the only two notes I've got left are E and G. C, then fill in the chord. Okay? C, then fill in the chord. Now I put an A in here to turn it into C6. Then we climb up to F, and then I'm going to play an F6 chord look. D minor coming down. Now G is G7, so I've got G, F, B, D. You see there, that those 16s are just getting a bit growly, but we're okay. And that works really nicely, especially if you're doing like a swing number. Say the let's say the lyric, the rhythm lyrics out uh, out loud. Here we go. Then fill in the chord. Then fill in the chord. Then fill in the chord. So that song is just something I've composed, a little exercise piece, fun for songs like "The World Is Waiting for the Sunrise," "Whispering." Um, that could work quite well. Because you don't have to do it every, every bar or two, you can put it in just when you can fit it in. Then fill in the chord. And of course it hasn't got to always be below, it can be above. So you're holding the main note, and then putting the remaining notes of the chord either underneath or above. Let's take a look at rhythm chord pattern number two. Chord fill number two. Again, say the rhythm lyrics out loud, but this is a more snappy kind of uh, accompaniment. And uh, this one has a rest at the beginning, and we're going to go boo, chick -a boo chick -a boo It's silly, but you will remember it. The first boo is silent, so if you say under your breath, boo. Chick a boo, chick a boo, and it's swingy. And so those chord fills, there's two there which work really nicely. The first one we talked about was open uh, the opening phrase of the world is coming for the sun, waiting for the sunshine, and we have full chords there in the melody. You can then do cascading. Cascading is, is famous with Mantovani, you may remember. And it's holding each note in turn after you play it. We then had chord fill number one, which was rest, then fill in the chord. And the second chord fill was boo, chick a boo, chick a boo. And again, don't forget, play them on the top, play them on the bottom. It sounds really effective. By the way, little tip um, we're playing on a, quite a small organ here today, but if you do by any chance have a compliment great and a proper solo keyboard, you can put some brass on the left side and go and then hold your hand up here, or just move the hand up something a little bit, perhaps, like this. So lots of good fun there. Thanks so much for watching. I must apologise, we are here in this uh, new uh, museum building. We have got a lot of background noise, but I hope that's made some sense. Do enjoy watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, please do hit subscribe. And if you'd like to support the production of these videos, uh, please do join me on patreon.com. And to all of you who watch my channel, thank you so, so much. Without you, um, this wouldn't be possible, but it's uh, great fun to share the knowledge, and I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this uh, theatre organ tuition video on right hand chord fillings. Download the PDF, give it a try, and I'll see you very soon 
here on Keyboard Skills Pro.